Welcome biologists, well, today we are looking at communicable diseases taken from the OSFAR specification for A-level biology 4.1.1. We are looking at specification point J which is the differences between active and passive immunity and also natural and artificial immunity. This is very popular on the exam and multiple choice questions so make sure you've got plenty of examples and you've looked at plenty of examples of each type of immunity. All right, so artificial immunity, these are normally generated through man-made interactions, for example, through injections, whereas the natural ones are obviously more natural, for example, you're catching the disease or getting, um, getting something from your mother's breast milk or over the placenta. Um, passive, this means you do not have an immune response to it. Your plasma cells do not make antibodies and you don't generate memory cells. If you need to go back and have a look at the immune response, that might be a good idea. Um, active, this however does trigger an immune response. Your plasma cells do make antibodies and also you do make memory cells from this. So here you have four examples. For each one of these, if you want to pause the video and have a go, for each one of these, you need to figure out is it natural or artificial and also is it passive or active? So pause and have a go now because the answers are coming up on the next slide. So those are where the answers should go. I'm not going to read through them because I think they're pretty self-explanatory if you link back to the previous table that was explained. Um, have a read around and have a think about other types of diseases or other types of interactions with um, antibodies that might fit into these different areas as well that might come up on the multiple choice questions. So there we have it, that we've had a look at the active and passive immunity, natural and artificial I've given you a couple of examples, but make sure you have a look at other ones as well. And you need to be able to identify which are active and passive, natural and artificial from any examples that are given. So it's a good idea to make reference to that previous table that I mentioned there about what the differences are between active, passive, natural and artificial. Guys, remember in your exams, don't use the word it, they, amount or size and use plenty of biological terminology to explain your thoughts and ideas and good luck.